heartbreak, yeah, that she ain't fake. Got me chilling with my nigga, yeah, that is streak. Got me chilling in Marvin's room while I'm Nick, praying that it ends, because you know that I'm a great, I'm a G, I'm tired of crying. These bitches is fake. Niggas suck. He's got me fucked up. Ooh, he's got me fucked up. Not today, I'm not the one. Sure, gang, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I have z z z z z z z z z and we're going to be talking about our heartbreak. Obviously, we're smiling now, so we're past it. So it's going to be an uplifting one, bruv. Yeah! Like, it actually, it was definitely not funny, but <laughs> like now I look back and I'm like, that's fucking hilarious. So do you want to tell us your story? We swear. Yeah, we swear. Okay. Okay, so my story is kind of weird. I wish I, I could tell you guys his name. Yeah, I know. The name just like, it makes it, oh, anyway. It ties the story up. It ties the story the fuck up. Anyway, um, okay, so this, this um, happened in like first year because I was stupid enough to be in a relationship in first year. I hope you guys heard that. Um, so like I was dating this guy and I had been dating him for like like one and a half years. Like it was basically like two years at this point. Pretty and uh, no, we were dating. dating. I'm telling you. Mm. So then now, um, you know, we go through some things in like first year because I don't know what's going on with him, but. I am not doing well in life and I just, we're just starting to like kind of fade but like we're still together, you know what I mean? And then one day he comes to me talking about like his anxiety is too much and whatnot. You know, let us let us take a break. Ne? I'm cool with breaks. I'm not now I'm not cool with breaks, but back then I was cool with breaks because I was a down bitch. These days I'm a I'm a finisher. You're not the cool girl. I'm not the cool girl. So now like I was like, okay, you know what, it's fine. But like, a break is a break, right? You're not like on somebody, you're not whatever, whatever. Every day this nigga's on me. Like, I love you, I miss you, I wanna see you, I wanna this, I wanna that. So I'm like, okay, this is not a break. A break. Like, this is not a break. And you know what? We're together. Just finish, you know? Okay, so now it's time for the holidays, June holidays. I'm going home. And I hadn't been on Twitter for like, years now and I go back on Twitter I'm having a good time following all my friends I'm having such a nice time you know this one guy that I know keeps on retweeting this one girl and <laughs> <laughs> sorry I'm serious all of her like tweets about her man and romance and this girl like she's a writer so you know she's writing things well and I'm reading these tweets and I'm like, this sounds like my boyfriend. Also, guys, please imagine like how specific the tweets have to be. Also, yes. like imagine reading a tweet and being like, this is my man. Like not a snap, not that like I read this and I said I said this is my man. Like I could just tell that this person <laughs> is writing about my man. I don't know what this is into. I don't know what this is. <sighs> the Lord was telling me this is my man. Uh -huh. I said, okay, let me just investigate, you know, instead of to just say, yo, bro, is this you? I said, let me do up like some Neve, some FBI, let me find out what the fuck is going on. Hmm. So I'm like, okay, I find somebody who's following her. I'm like, yo, um, what's going on with this girl? Like, does she have a man, whatever? She doesn't really know the girl, but she's following the girl. So that's enough for me. Because <laughs> that girl, and you know, like, I'm... <laughs> I'm obsessed at this point. Like I'm obsessed. Every day I'm on that page. I'm like, what's going on? And my boyfriend is talking to me every day about like, I love you, I miss you, can you come back to Cape Town, blah 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 blah. Alright. Then now like I see that um, she's taking her page on and off private and I'm getting sick because I'm stalking her and I can't I don't have access. I'm actually running wow guys, it was make it was mm, I was finished. So then now I started to like give myself a break and I started to ask him like what's going on here? Yeah, like do you have this person? Are you dating this person? Like am I 
Like what's happening? Like what's happening? And this man is still talking about a break. And you know what? In my mind now, that's like, I know what that is now. That's definitely a technicality. Like people want to fuck with you. Still have you talk yeah, about the break? Kick, yeah, 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 exactly, sure. like n breaks, guys. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no, just full stop. Don't know it. So he's talking about break. I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Fuck that shit. You know, I've got my ex calling. Like, I'm good. If you want to do your shit, do your shit. But like, I'm also good. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I'm good. Not that I was doing anything because I'm not gonna cop to that on camera. Um. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so then now, like, uh, I ask him, and he's like, it's a break. I'm like, cool, right? I come back to Cape Town. We set up an appointment. We see each other. Good. This is like, I don't know, like a Thursday or something. Then the weekend passes, and on Monday, we're like back to school, you know, whatever, whatever. Next day, I'm at school, and I'm just in a class doing class things, and um, I'm just getting screenshots. Five screenshots at first. I'm like, what's going on? Uh, what's this? You know? Um, my friend is like, you should probably look at this. I said, okay. Um, I'm seeing she's saying my boyfriend's name has cheated on me. She said <laughs> my boyfriend was cheating on her, guys. I was sick. I was, you know, like your hands start to shake. I don't know what was going on. I was confused. This man, this lecturer was talking. I'm trying to read tweets. I was, I was fucked up. Now, like, um, I get 13 more screenshots. I'm not even exaggerating. I still have the screenshots on my phone right now. I don't see them. 13 more screenshots of this girl detailing her story with my boyfriend. Saying my boyfriend mm. cheated on her. Somebody that I had been with two years, guys. Mm. Two years. Mm. Two mm. years. And she was talking about he was cheating on her. Come to find there's this whole story about him fucking another girl the day after he was with me, guys. Mm. The day after he was with me. And yeah, like he cheated on her with that girl. And then a bunch of girls started replying to this tweet saying, yeah, say me too. Ah. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> Being like I've been you, that's why I stopped fucking with him because then I, I was sick, guys. They that's were joking. No, he was embarrassing me. They were joking under that tweet saying that we must start a group chat called his gals. <laughs> I like them though. At least they were cool girls. At least they were cool. It's cool. They were cool with my man. It's cool. <laughs> I'm glad it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I was, guys, I don't even know. Like, if anybody goes to UCT, you know the architecture building. I called all my friends. I said, come, guys. Somebody needs to balance because I don't understand. I'm not understanding. I went there. I, I read 35 screenshots of tweets to them. I was shaking. My things were not coming out my mouth. Like, I was finished. I was like, you know, it's time to go home. I had classes. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. I was going and I thought like let me get an Uber but like I knew you know there's so many stairs down to the Uber thing and I knew like in my state at that time she wasn't gonna make it I wasn't gonna make it she wasn't gonna I was no. not gonna make it I was not okay um I said okay you know let me go to the jammy stop got to the jammy stop my knees were giving in um I was not <laughs> like, I was not okay somebody even asked me they were like are you okay I was like of course you know what I mean? That time. Of course, I was finished, guys. I got into the jammy, I got a window seat, I put in my earphones, it was a music video. I was Outside looking out the, the window. window. I, I love know that thing! <laughs> I'm so oh. upset that I know it. Dude, I was <sighs> finished. I got home. I couldn't believe myself, guys. I couldn't believe myself. And like, this guy had the audacity while all this shit was coming out because obviously I'm a dickhead, I'm stupid, and I don't know things. He's like, yo, like, can I come see you? I can't wait. He literally had the audacity to ask to hook up with me that day. Huh? I'm telling you guys. Like, it wasn't something that was being retweeted a hundred times about him. You know what, guys? The point of this video is that, like, I'm just on my channel. I'm not going to bag about any nigga because I never want niggas to feel special. Like, yeah. you must never think that you affected me. Sorry, the man was speaking about, yeah, you're just like, brutally. 
No, that was actually. And we should actually just be putting your name, your handle, every time. <laughs> no, it did us. It did us. No, it cut did the us. cameras. Yeah, cut the cameras. Did us. But yeah, for me, I like. I just I want to speak about how real heartbreak is. Like I want Zoe to tell that story because the fact that she was at Scala, ne? She's Bro. getting a degree here. She said, "I've got to go." Guys, she couldn't walk down the stairs. What's so happening to you that your body's reacting like that? Your palms are sweating. Your knees are shaking. Bro. You can hardly speak. Someone says hi to you. There's a lump here. Over a person. Over a I've person. Seen. My heartbreak. I thought I experienced heartbreak in like um, high school, and then I was just lying. So I remember like <laughs> <laughs> we broke up, um, and then like I was like, I'm you know I'm a coco. So like we broke up, and I was like, oh uh-huh, sharp. I remember washing dishes, trapping, 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 trap, because you gotta trap when you hot break. Get I cool guys, I start trapping now, I can see I'm losing momentum. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not washing the dishes so I'm under, you know? I'm taking breaks, mm-hmm. I feel the tears, I'm like cool. I guys, I kid you not, I cry for five minutes. I'm like, I right, bet. You're done. washing the dishes with your tears. Don't do that. Wow. Don't do that. I was just, I said, cool, and I thought that was heartbreak, you know, like I had my mom for five minutes, I mean, maybe I missed him, like, somewhere along the line, but it was never any tank serious. Oh, shame. Oh, Betuna, first year. Somebody oh. showed you life. Oh, I experienced it, guys, I was going to die. I said this to my friends all the time. I was in the coffin, like this, né? and they were all standing around it, and they, they just, you just had to throw this in. You guys just all oh, had to say one by one, say your goodbyes, because I was, I was deceased. Finished. I was finished. I wasn't eating. I wasn't washing. Imagine washing your body when you're heartbroken, please. That's not meth, bruv. Dealing with heartbreak is not a joke. Guys, I'm also here to say that like people deal with it in different ways and at first I didn't understand. Naturally as a hun, like when I think heartbreak, I'm thinking girls on the couch, one and on, watching things, whatever. And then niggas, I just think like the club. The club. If I'm keeping it a buck. And the older I'm getting, the more I'm realizing that we all process emotions differently. And that sometimes you just need to be distracted. And that is okay. Like, have your moment, but come the fuck back. Because if you don't come back, you'll be lost in the streets forever. No, and definitely. That's just not what you want. My route was more extreme. And that, like, I didn't go out for like two years. <laughs> and I chilled in my room, in my bed with my friends. Like, my friends knew if you wanted to come see me, you're coming to my place. Like, Unless you want to go to McDonald's, that's easy stuff. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's easy, that's easy no, stuff. That's easy. Man, I'm not, I, I can't do anything more than that. And like, I think the reason I also want to record this video is the fact that we can sit here and look dead ass into a camera yeah. and be like, you know, we were heartbroken. It's like, guys, a heartbreak is death. I just no, want to make it very clear. Ass. People who think that it's a joke, that we're exaggerating, like chickens, Matt told us today, chickens die from heartbreak. Ha! They. Die. They die. They die. Like it's curtains. It, it's it's tickets for the it's chickens. Tickets, bro. It's tickets, bruv. So I'm just here to say that whatever you're feeling is very real. If you feel like you can't breathe without this person, and I get it, you never thought you'd be this person. Like you yeah. thought, like, oh yeah, whatever. Like guys, I used to see people crying, like, oh my god, what am I gonna do without you? Bro, I can't breathe. And my reaction would always be like, mate. Like you were breathing 17 years before me. Like we started dating when I was 18. You're gonna be fine. Like you've been doing this thing. But I no longer say that because I fully understand. Mm-hmm. Also, I think that when you're in love for the first time, that person is your everything. And, and love is addictive. Love is addictive. Like, love, love is, is so addictive. overwhelming. And um, if you're in your relationship, your first relationship, you're more likely to put the onus on them for making you happy. Yeah. So if they aren't good, if they aren't treating you well, their behavior is a direct reflection on your worth at the time because you just don't understand like why the fuck am I being cheated like this? That has nothing to do with you. As people, we all have our own issues and we project. Yeah, because that was me, exactly. Because like throughout that whole relationship, I had this like fear of like not being enough for this yeah. person. And then like when mm. that happened, I was almost like super, super validated in that. Like I'm actually just not, not the enough. Pro- oh yeah. Yeah, you know oh, what I mean? Sorry, like, I wasn't, no, no, no. I wasn't enough. Like I remember feeling like so much like, yeah. I mean, I didn't even, you know, the thing is like, I didn't even cry over that thing, but like the effects were so deep. Bro. I, get it. I, get I couldn't it. even touch a person for like months. Like genuinely, cause I was like, okay, this person has made me feel like this, but like, I'm so fucking enough, bro. You're so enough. I'm so enough. Like, That's what you guys need to take away from this. Bro, like, why did somebody even have that power over me? Yeah. I, like, I know that I'm so struggling with, like, 
I know I'm enough. Like I'm not even there anymore. I'm not like, uh, uh, uh. but I sh sh I hate being open. What the hell, dude? I struggled like intimacy. So, mm -hmm. like, the last time I was like with someone in like a romantic, like physical sense was like last year, like November, and I just haven't done it ever since. And like I have plans to in my head, I'm really I'm plotting on these niggas like crazy. She like really I'm, is. I'm plotting. I'm telling you. I'm trying to plot. Actually, I'm trying to plot, and it's just I mean, it's not working. And I know that's because like I don't know if it's because PTSD. I don't know if I'm getting over things. You know what I mean? It's, it's a combination. Well, that's me. <laughs> and I just want to say it's okay if you can't like get under someone to get over someone. Yeah. But if you can. I'm not saying it's like the right thing yeah, to do, but, but you distraction know, like, is like do what you need to do. do what you need. That's all we have to say. Mm -hmm. Like do what you need to do, and if we can resurrect from the pits of hell, then away. And every single one of my friends have a heart okay, except for like a mm -hmm. Everyone else has a heartbreak story. Like it's very relatable. We completely understand. Pig out. Don't eat. Lose yeah. weight. Pick up weight. It's gonna pass. Also, my mom says this to me all the time. Boys are like buses. When one leaves, another arrives. And you guys need to actually fully realize that. Like, we can't yeah. keep crying for Greyhound, Greyhound. When there's another, like, luxury bus coming around the corner. Dude. I'm not going to do that. We're not there's poor. so many men out there. There's, there's so, so many, many men. There. They all there's suck. So many. Everybody's out there for you. Just, like, you're stronger than this shit. Just... And you're cool, bro. Push through, bro. Yeah. You're so cool. Also, do things that, like, make you happy i think that in a breakup it's so easy to lose yourself so do things that remind you of no do things that you used to love before this yeah. person so whatever it is like i know like i definitely left gym for a long time and being active is a very important part so i do that solo dates i used to bang that shit all the time and then i started seeing someone and then all of a sudden i couldn't be alone like i was just struggling Bro. so like yeah just find things that make you happy cry with your friends there's, there's literally don't have pride. There's no pride in this. No, there's no pride. Like if Zoe and I can sit here and talk about it, laugh about it, laugh about it, then all is well. All is well. Also, niggas like being heartbroken is okay. Like it's, like express yeah, your emotions. Bro. Like this thing of suppressing it and then come. Let me tell you what happens there. When we go through a breakup, you cry, we cry, we cry when it lasts for like you know a few months, and then we come back. And then all of a sudden you guys start to smell that wound, girls. Yo, she's she, moving fast. She's good. She's, she's good. She's almost, good. She's almost good. No, no, yeah, she's yeah, fully. And then you want to send us texts. And then niggas, you guys don't deal with it at all. They literally fuck through the streets. I <laughs> <laughs> want to talk about. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I have I'm good. this many bodies underneath my belt. And then my G, uh, you always cry. Also, niggas, you guys need to stop this thing of acting grand in front of your friends and then crying to us. One day. No, that's bullshit. Bark, mark my words. Well, I'm so sick. I'm so sick of niggas being like, oh, I don't even really fuck with her like that. I don't want But here, for Nyam Yakat. Dude. Ching a ling a ling. Dude. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Um, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> No yeah, so just be honest in the whole process, guys. Thanks for cheating in. Like, scrub, scrub. Like, subscribe, share, follow your funny. Follow Zoe on Instagram. Zoe's gonna be starting her new channel soon. Not new channel, a channel soon. A channel. So please, when I do have the deeds, I'll obviously share it with you. Leather, she's hilarious. Hasta la vista.